In another video, I showed you how to set up the basics of script, but I forgot that some people might not know how to download script or find the latest version of script. We can do that by going to the script GitHub. We can type in Minecraft script GitHub. You should see it's the first link. You're going to click this link and the latest versions should be at the top. You scroll down and you'll find the asset section. You'll find the jar file. Click the jar file. For me, it'll say script 2.6.4, but for you, it might be a newer version. Once you've downloaded that jar file, you would put it in your plugins folder. Once you put it in your plugins folder, you would restart your server and you would see a script folder. Inside your script folder, you'll see a config file. Inside your config file, you should scroll down to enable effect commands and set that to true, as well as allow ops to use effect commands to true. I would also recommend scrolling down until you find pattern. This will be by default that for you, but you want to change it to that. This will allow you to enable RAM variables. Once you have saved that, you can either restart your server or you can go in your console and type in sk reload config. Once you have reloaded your config, if you want to learn how to use script, I recommend using script hub documentation. We can simply type in script hub. Should be the first link. Once you're on the script hub website, click on documentation. Once you're on documentation, if you want to filter out just script and no add-ons, we can click script. Then we can search features that we want. For example, send has many different options. Message, we can message, we can send. Another great way to learn how to script without the script documentation is to go to Spigot website and we can type in script at the end. Should be the first link. If we click that, we can see that there's many examples of scripts. We can click one and we can download it. And then once you've downloaded that, you can open that file up with any text editor of your choice and view the script. Remember, don't claim a script as your own if it's not yours.